Goa marks Revolution Day. Chief Minister remembers freedom fighters. Every year, the Goa Revolution Day is celebrated on June 18 to mark the day. Every year, the Goa Revolution Day is celebrated on June 18 to mark the day when the liberation struggle against the Portuguese colonial rule began in the year 1946. The Goa locals are celebrating in the remembrance of their freedom fighters and their struggle for liberation. But as a student of history, I would like to say Indian freedom struggle as a whole, if we analyze, we can see on one hand the leadership of Gandhiji, his concept of ahimsa and commitment to dharma, all th these things are known to everybody. And Britain of course, uh, the rule was suppressing, oppressing, everything was there. One small relief was there because Britain was a democratic country, supremacy of the parliament, and they are bound to even accept to a certain extent the will of the people. But Pondicherry, that is French, under French rule, and uh, our Goa, under Portuguese rule. I would like to say one important aspect. In Goan, Portuguese rulers at that time was not a strictly a democratic country. Autocracy was there. So their approach, their modus operandi, everything, even the fundamental rights of people, not only to that oppression and suppression, most barbaric approach was adopted by them. That important aspect, of course, Govan revolution, freedom struggle is concerned. This is an important thing to be study in detail. Then in 1946 already our Chief Minister and others referred with respect to Dr. Ramanur Lohia. A comprehensive study about Ramanur Lohia is also required. His entire efforts published in 10 volumes now and if you go through it, a great visionary Whatever he was talking and propagating, implemented strictly in his life. If we go through his life, we can see that. Gandhiji also like that. Pandit Dhinadalubhadhyaya, another scholar, thinker, over a great test by the present rule in India to Pandit Dhinadalubhadhyaya. I am remembering one aspect. In 1977, a political change occurred in India after the emergency. 
And 1977 people's verdict was there. I am not going that political aspect touching that uh, that aspect at all. But you see the slogan raised by the newly formed 1977 political party, which started ruling under their banner. We follow. You go through that document. We follow. the ideas and the ideology propounded by gandhi ji dinadayal ji and ramanugar lohia what is common in it common is dharmic concept of india traditional india and that too with the full dedication all these three leaders are concerned then never confined to their family we know gandhi ji when his eldest son committed some corruption in the name of gandhi ji immediately on the next day he called press people to varda ashram and stated that today on wedges i am not having a son by name eldest son he is no more my son that declared i am not justifying or whatever maybe what happened to his family and other things i am not going to that aspect dire dali vadya also like that dr raman or lohia from calcutta from a family who was running richa richa business then he rose to the occasion and he always in his life dedicated to the ideology propounded by him till his last breath he followed that sometimes damanor lohia is concerned there are books i am not justifying anything i don't want to make any controversy prostate gland the symbol operation in that table he lost his life pandit dinadal upadhyaya in 1968 february 11 lost his life in a suspicious manner you see 1967 dr ramanur lohia and pandit dinadal upadhyaya together formed some spd ministries seven ministries in india and those political changes are there 